hey do you want to become a good developer yes that's great so in that case i must tell you one thing that you have to develop a web application or website in such a way that it should give you same experience same content or same feelings irrespective of devices or platform or environments so what i'm trying to say is that see if you are using laptop okay if you are sending a request from laptop to a web application or website let's say flipkart then whatever the content or feelings or experience that you will get from flipkart it should be same if you are using mobile phone see i know you guys are making web application or website in that way but here i have one question to all of you like how your application will know about your device information make sense like from which device you are sending the request whether it's a mobile or laptop etc so once your application will know about your device information then only it can render the content in that way right then only it can adopt its content in that way yes so on the base of this context today we will learn about user agent yeah so this is gorab i'm back with another video so without wasting any further time let's go ahead and jump right in all right so yeah i can understand like it is bit confusing right okay so in that case let me give you one example through which i can show you what point i'm trying to make over here okay so right now i'm in mobile so let me search for a website so let me search flipkart yep so now let me open it up good so this is a content you can see which we are getting from flipkart website right now this is a mobile view and because of that you can see in the left side we are having one option called site drawer where a number of options are available right so what i'm trying to say is someone somehow internally informing flipkart that i am sending this request from mobile so please give me the content accordingly okay and because of that we are having this option left side that is a site drawer in the left okay but whatever the product that we are getting from flipkart or whatever the functionality that we are getting from flipkart okay or i would say whatever the feelings that we are getting from flipkart website that is going to be same in mobile okay so now let me do the same using a different device that is laptop so let's see what we can get over there okay so right now i am in laptop so now let me open the same website which is flipkart good so now let me open it up okay so you can see like these are the content which we are getting from flipkart website right so basically these all are the same product which we have seen just now in case of mobile okay but here we don't have anything called site drawer in the left side you can see but all the functionality that we have in a different way you can see so we are having all the products all the, i can say all the contents but in different way why because device is different that's it's a laptop view okay so again i'm trying to say like someone internally saying flipkart hey i'm sending this request from laptop please give me the content accordingly okay so that's why we are getting in a different way but we are getting same content or same feelings so i hope it makes sense right so just now we have seen like how web application will give you same content but in different way because of different device or different platform okay good so now here is my question like how and who is saying this information like your device information to that website or web application because once your web application will know like from which device you are sending this request then only it can render the content accordingly okay so i hope you understood this example right so now let's see what is user agent in details on the base of this context well so like others video in this video also we will learn it with a scenario with animations see if you are from computer science background or from it world you might have heard the term user agent otherwise don't worry i will request you to watch this video till the end today you will learn something new okay anyway let's start so let's consider a scenario where a user wants to access a web application okay 
so for now you can consider this user as you i know it looks very weird and you are not still so that's when you would like to access a web application or website like flipkart.com okay i think few days back there was some big billion day right in flipkart and you guys might have purchased something anyway let's come back to the topic okay so a user wants to access a web application okay so here is my first question to you and that is how can you access it make sense yes see you cannot access a web application or website directly right you need something in between right so that is what called a browser so actually you need a browser in between in order to send a request to that web application or website in order to access it so if i talk about browser then a number of options are available in browser like so i can use let's say google chrome i can use firefox and it has its own version like if i talk about google chrome it has a version let's say 86 for firefox let's say version 82 and so many okay so that's mean a number of options are available for browser good so here is my second question and that is where is your browser make sense like your browser cannot be in here right it has to be somewhere means it has to be installed in some device or in platform you are right so your browser is there within a platform platform is nothing but a device so whatever device that you are using see if i talk about a platform then here also like browser a number of options are available like you can use a laptop in case of laptop we can have different kind of os like windows 7 windows 10 ubuntu which is of uh, 32 bit 64 bit operating system you can use a mobile like in case of mobile we can have android 10 android 9 etc and so many so what i'm trying to say is like for both the browser and the platform we are having a number of options are available and you can use any of this okay so now here is my third question which is the most important one so listen it carefully and that is how your web application like flipkart will know all these details details in the sense what browser that you are using what is the version of it what platform that you are using whether you are using laptop or mobile what is the os type like whether it is a windows or ubuntu linux what is it so how your web application will know all these details because once your web application will know all these details then only it can render its content right so let's do one thing let's take one combination okay let's take chrome 86 and if i am taking laptop win 764 let's take both the combination and put it together so that is what call user agent so user agent is nothing but a piece of information which contains all these details like what browser that you are using what is the version of it what operating system that you are using like uh, whether you using windows 7 windows 10 etc so all this information together we will call it as user agent good so all this information like user agent this is already there in your browser but how your web application will know these details right so now if you want to access the web application or website you will send a request from browser to that web application right so that request obviously would be a http request right so this http request will carry this information this user agent where in http header so now if you send a http request then this information like user agent will be transferred to the web application through http header so now this information is available to your web application or website let's say flipkart so now your web application or website will read it in this way okay i got this request from google chrome okay version 86 okay that's mean all the features that would be supported because let's say it is a latest version okay and operating system is windows 7 64 bit okay so now i am ready with content according to user agent okay and thus it will return or it will render the content accordingly to the browser okay and thus a session can start so it doesn't matter like what device that you are using what browser that you are using so because of user agent your web application or website will know what content that it should provide okay 
and because of that you will experience the same feeling you will get the same content irrespective of devices ho oh, okay so i hope you understood this right so just now i have given you a simple overview like who is informing to your web application or website about your device information and how so there is an excellent animation which is available in google let's look at it now okay so now let's look at this animation so you can see at the left there is something called unknown users so that's mean we don't know like from where this request is coming like from which device and from which browser this request is coming so that's why it is unknown to us like if we don't know like what browser and what device that they are using so for us it is unknown okay so just after this in the middle we have something called parse user agent okay so before the request will go to a web application or website first we have to know what is the user agent okay so that is what it provides right so for us it is nothing but browser yes so from browser we can get to know about the user agent okay so you can see there are different kind of combinations like we can have opera mini we can have internet explorer we can have firefox in the right side we can have different kind of device like laptop different kind of cell phone etc so from the unknown request we are getting the information about user agent and we are sending it as http request in http header to the web application well so so far i have given you a simple overview okay so now i think you guys are interested to know like how user agent looks like in real okay so let's do that it will take maximum 10 second so what you have to do see it doesn't matter like what device that you are using it doesn't matter what browser that you are using so go to your browser from any device and search this one my user agent then hit enter let's see what it returns you will get some weird character okay so now let me do the same with you so right now i'm in browser let me search for my user agent hit enter yeah so you can see this is my user agent your user agent okay it looks very weird right yeah so from here what we can understand like uh, somehow we can understand like it is uh, the browser is chrome okay might be this is the version okay uh, i can understand like it is a windows okay so let's understand like how, what does it mean okay so basically we need two main information one is like uh, which operating system that i am using like what is its version and the second one is like oh, which browser that i am using and its version so you can see like i am using google chrome okay that is uh, you can see from here i am using google chrome okay so now let's parse it in online to extract those main information so what you have to do just uh, go and search decode user agent okay hit enter you can open the first one like oh, what is my browser okay so before that let me copy this information okay let me go there here we can submit our user agent it will tell me two important things okay let me parts this user agent yeah so you can see like uh, we are getting two main information right one is about uh, my browser another one is about my operating system okay that is nothing but platform so i am using google chrome version is 87 and windows 10 okay operating system so i think in my example uh, it was chrome 86 on windows 7 right well so what happen is like this information will be transferred to the web application through http header and thus web application will easily understand okay so this request is coming from this device and this browser and based on that it will render its content okay great so i think you guys have understood this right okay so now if you have any doubt any queries in this video please let me know by giving a comment in the comment section for more video like this you can follow my channel Okay so thank you for watching for now take care tata bye bye